At 174, Hughes ranked 19th by Flow Wrestling. Yeah, this is a lone ranked matchup of the night between Penn State and Michigan State. Uh, Drew Hughes is a guy who he has never wrestled against the Nittany Lions before. This is the first time he takes the mat against the Penn State wrestler, and, and that guy he's looking across from is top ranked Mark Off. Hughes, the sophomore in the 2016-17 season, became the first freshman to qualify for NCAA since Sean McMurray in 2011. Hall, an NCAA championship in his freshman year, runner-up last year with the loss to Zahid Valencia that he avenged here in the regular season. End of the 2018 calendar year, a 4-0 win over Valencia. A full third period ride out from Mark Hall over Valencia. And Hughes is a guy who, who likes to get aggressive as well. Uh, we've seen that a lot from Penn State tonight. Hughes is another guy who, who likes to get aggressive. He's had pins in his last two matches as well. So a lot of guys coming up here through that, that love the pin. As Hughes went down, the Michigan State coaches to our left immediately called to watch for that cement mixer that we were talking about. Saw Vincenzo Joseph use it to his advantage. I think they probably know where Vincenzo got it from. <laughs> 140 left in this first. Hall on the single. Still no takedown, trying to turn in. And now back swipes for Mark Hall here. The four near fall points for Mark Hall and the Michigan State coaches have thrown out the brick. They want a challenge. Stalemate is called, so Roger Chandler in his third season as the head coach of Michigan State over to explain what he'd like tonight's referees to, to take a look at. The head official, John Nath, Assisted by Jim Ravella. Just by reading lips there, it looked like Chandler wanted the takedown called before any kind of back points come. We didn't get a neutral danger call. And so a review of that takedown there. As it stands right now, 105 left in the first. Six nothing the lead, Mark Hall over Drew Hughes in our lone ranked matchup of the night. John Nath and Jim Ravello just kind of talking things out here as they look at the monitor. So no change here on the mat, and Roger Chandler doesn't like the explanation that he's getting. So we restart at the center, 105 left in the first. seconds left to wrestle in this first period. And Hall, a pretty dominant ride there out on top. Five 
Five seconds left here in the first. Hall will ride it out and take over a minute 30 of riding time into the second period, a 6-0 lead as well. Yeah, a nice first period there from Mark Hall. And, and Hughes is a guy who, who can reach out and get these ranked guys. We saw him earlier this year in January take uh, Michigan's Miles Amin late into the third period. That a really close duel. I mean, came out on top. But, but Drew Hughes can keep himself in this match. Going to take a little bit here as he's down 6 nothing. But, but for Mark Hall, you want to try and put this one away as early as possible to not let Hughes back in it. All looking for control on that upper body. Now with a little trip, but can't reel Hughes in. Now shoots in the double, wraps around. It's 8 nothing, And blood time here for Drew Hughes. Eight nothing the lead for Mark Hall as we take a look at Kale Sanderson for the Nittany Lions. Kale in his tenth season at Penn State has collected seven NCAA titles, five Big Ten champions championships rather. And he's qualified nine wrestlers for that NCAA tournament the past three years. It lo it's looking like this is going to be fourth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is another one of Kale's great teams. I know there's a conversation that we may get into at one point or another about if this is the best that he's had here and and it's got to be splitting hairs but another strong year for Kale Sanderson and, and another great job of coaching these guys up and, and it's almost what you've come to expect here from Penn State with the dynasty that they've created and, and that Kale's created. Certainly seems pure talent wise that uh, this Penn State team is right up there with the rest of them as one of the most talented we've seen for Penn State here in the past couple weeks. Some injuries, guys in and out of the lineup, but again, looking at pure talent, they've got to be up there. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I wrote down here for Penn State, and a key for them tonight is don't get hurt. There's been way too many problems with Penn State uh, going out and losing guys. Roman Bravo Young is a guy that comes to mind who uh, out in Purdue got hurt on a move that he probably didn't necessarily need to make, so just wrestle safe and don't get hurt because if you get hurt at this point in the season, chances are you might not make it back for when it really matters. That's a good point. Postseason just around the corner here for the Nittany Lions. Two matches remain. Less than a minute here in the second. And Hall is grabbing those two as Hughes tries to scramble away. 10-1 the lead for Mark Hall. And that's the thing when you wrestle Mark Hall, if, if you're going to bite in on a shot like that, make sure you finish through with it because if you don't, he's going to stop you in your tracks, push you backwards, and he takes two of his own points. So Hughes tried to get a shot in there, but couldn't get it all the way through. Stall warning called here on Hughes and rolling off the mat. Just less than 30 seconds left here in the second period. It's been all Mark Hall to this point. Less than 10 seconds here. Hughes keeping things in tight late in the second. And a 10-1 lead from Mark Hall over Drew Hughes as we head to the third. Yeah, in with almost three minutes in riding time now. Just been, a, been one of those matches for Mark Hall where he's been in full control for almost the entirety of it, just kind of riding out on top. All up to his feet here, start of the third period. Hughes just riding on the back, and another stall warning that'll give Hall a point 11-1. Gotta be careful, if he doesn't get off there, he's gonna get another one, and there it is. There it is, 12-1 the score. 
Trying to trip Hall back to the mat. He takes him down. So 12-1, Mark Hall in front. And back up top he goes. And stalemate here with 1.13 left. Mark Hall, a minute 57 of riding time, but he was trying to dwindle that down. Not that it would be all that much here. Well, I mean, you decide which poison you want. Do you want the two minutes and 44 seconds of riding time or to give the, the two points on the stall calls? Uh, it kind of goes out in the wash there, but nonetheless, he's going to stay right back on top. All up to his feet. Hughes on the back again. Less than a minute, and another stall called here on Drew Hughes, the third here in this third period. I don't know as if I've ever seen that before where a wrestler does the exact same thing four times in a row to get four stall calls. And that'll do it here. Mark Hall the win over Drew Hughes, and Penn State piling it on here late in this one. They got going.